All right, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So, all right, everyone. It is me back again at you. I have been so lazy on making videos. I actually um, have been playing around back and forth on different video platforms, uh, different modes of making videos. I'm not going to bore you about it, but it just took longer than I thought. And, you know, also too, like, I am trying to be um, a good resource, and I, and I want to be that, but at the end of the day, what pays my bills right now, because I don't make any money off YouTube, you know, I'm, I'm nowhere near where uh, other YouTubers are, and to be honest with you, I don't really care. I view YouTube as a, a, a passion project, or I view YouTube as like a, as just being fun, making videos, I should say, as uh, just making, you know, having fun. So I don't, I don't have um, any financial benefit from it. And so, you know, a lot of my focus has to be on actually making money uh, to pay the bills, um, to fund my goals and my dreams. So I have to do work. Uh, in order to do those things. So last week and the week before, I had made some videos. Um, but what I found is, is that I was falling behind and I was getting out of rhythm with different scheduling. And, it, you know, it, it's, a, it's a blessing in disguise because, you know, honestly, a lot of um, the reason why my schedule was thrown out of whack was because a new development has occurred. I have been getting so many more phone calls from hotels that I gave brochures to, brochures to, that I have been inundated with opportunities. Last week, I made over $1,600 and I worked about 40 hours, which is really good dollars per hour. And I had a decent dollars per mile too. This week, my car, this car was in the shop for, um, for a while, for almost uh, two to three days. And so, almost entirely I had a backup vehicle I was using so I couldn't use it I didn't use it for uber and lyft I only did it for private rides and so far as of this Friday morning I have had almost six hundred dollars in the last three to four days just on private rides and that's working you know I, I basically was working for you know a couple of, you know a few hours so private rides have really come through for me. Now today, tomorrow, and Sunday, um, I am going to be hitting the ground hard. I my, my plan is to really put the pedal to the metal today, uh, make a good video today, get some momentum, uh, not only in my YouTube, uh, <laughs> my YouTube side, but also on my driving side. Like I said, I, I, I'm happy with where I, I've, what I've done this week. But is it where I want to be? No. I have more. I expect more of myself. And I guess what I'm trying to say in all this is I'm still trying to find my footing in terms of, you know, a regular schedule, what works for me, you know, how to do this. And these are just the, this is the, uh, the, the beginning process, the teething pains of you know having a having a YouTube channel having making videos and doing and growing a business from scratch you know so I'm having fun um, it may not, you know it sounds like I'm complaining I'm not I'm just explaining to you if you've been wondering hey why hasn't Andrew had a video lately there have been videos but you know they weren't super I didn't I didn't like them a ton and they were taking too long to edit to make more interesting so I'm trying to be better also at you know being a little bit more engaging a little bit better 
so that editing isn't such a huge problem because right now editing is just taking up so much of my time and you know I really don't do a whole lot of like fancy graphics and you know fancy uh, video concepts so it really shouldn't be that hard um, but I'm having to cut 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 uh, all the time when I, I don't I really shouldn't but it's because of my production value you know I'm not a polished uh, video maker yet so you know uh, what, are, what are we doing right now this guy contacted me through my website again this is one of those uh, hotels that that I work with that you know calls me um, regularly to uh, sort of you know have have rides and this guy's probably gonna come out any minute now and then I'll uh, stop the video but <clears throat> he he has um, uh, been using me since uh, Tuesday um, he's been using me since Tuesday to uh, uh, go to work um, in downtown Dallas you know he's just here on vacation and uh, not sorry not vacation he's here uh, on a business trip so you know that's been like 35 bucks every morning at eight o'clock I can't stress to you enough how amazing just doing a little bit of legwork has been it's made my life a little bit more complicated because you know one of the beauties about uber and lyft is that you can turn the apps on whenever you want Although I think flexibility is a little bit overrated, but I do acknowledge it is a huge benefit. I do acknowledge that flexibility is a, is a huge benefit, but with these extra opportunities, I don't have as much control over when they call me right if a hotel calls um, I don't know if it's going to be 4 30 a.m. 4 30 p.m. or somewhere in between and you know of course I don't have to take each and every one of these rides but you know you do want to be relatively available for them because you need to be relied upon and the more that you're reliable the more that they call you um, in general, for the most part, I would say I've taken almost uh, most of them. This morning I missed one because I was asleep. So I missed an opportunity there. Um, I don't think it's going to hurt me, but, you know, I missed an opportunity. If I do that a bunch, you know, they might stop, I might stop being the first call they make. And that, that creates less opportunity. So, yes, I have, I still have flexibility and choice on whether or not I want to take these trips, but you know, you, you have a little bit less control because there's a little bit more onus on you to take these trips, even when it's you know not at the exact time that you were planning, because um, you, you need to establish that relationship and establish that business, um, business to business uh, relationship to, in order to be available and be called upon and thus make money so my schedule has been in total flux over the last couple of weeks that's affected the videos it's affected you know my, my just overall schedule so but last week was really good and I'm still kind of getting my footing I'm getting better at it so I'm trying to start fresh today I made a few videos of what happened in the last couple of weeks but the short story is is that the private rides business has has taken off it, it, it has um, really honestly I'm making more from private rides now the, the scales have kind of tipped I've, I've gone from about 80 to 90 percent uber uh, to now it's closer to uh, perhaps 50 50 or even slightly above private rides um, so <clears throat> that's the direction we're heading so far this week I've made almost nothing on uber and Lyft because I haven't had the car it's been in the shop getting some things done to it so I've relied exclusively on private rides I've worked like six and a half hours and I've made almost six hundred dollars 
So I'm very happy with that result. Um, and But this weekend, this weekend, I'm going to be doing much more Uber and Lyft alongside private rides to, to, get, uh, to get my numbers up. Because I have a goal every week and I have a goal this month and I need to uh, up it. Uh, I need to pick it up this week in order to meet that goal. So um, stay tuned. I'm going to go ahead and sign off. This guy should be coming out any second now. And we'll pick, pick back up when I'm in downtown. All right. So as you can tell, um, I'm actually on my way uh, back home empty-handed because this private ride, uh, dude, man, this guy, this guy works hardcore, dude. Um, he, uh, he's in town visiting. He works at AT&T. And as you know, today or yesterday or something like that was the launch of the new iPhone. So, I mean, it was a pretty big week for people at AT&T and he's intimately involved in that. And, uh, I was there waiting for him and he said that, uh, he said that he <laughs> had been at work all day and all night yesterday. I don't know how he does it. I mean, this guy's a workaholic, obviously. So, but he forgot to text me. Um, and so whatever, it's cool. You know, I, I'm fine with it because, um, it sucks, but you know, he, he, his hotel was just down the road. I'll be home in a few minutes and I'm going to go ahead and take my wife to work and then see what, uh, the surge is like. This, this has been a typical Friday. As you can tell, there's almost no surge. This is, this is nothing, uh, at this time of morning and there's nothing around me. So, uh, I turned on Uber for just a second and I got a bunch of comfort requests, um, to go, uh, I got a bunch of comfort requests to go, uh, to the airport and such, but they're paying like a dollar per mile. Uh, they're not very good. So I'm going to go ahead and take her to work and then see what, uh, comes my way. So to be continued. Okay. So I am, uh, on my way to pick them up and you know, she, I, I'm taking a little bit of a risk. This is a comfort trip. So she's about five minutes down the road and she's going to go another 15 minutes, uh, down the, uh, down into like uptown Cedar Springs area. And so, you know, it's kind of risky, but I don't think the traffic is going to be too bad, uh, going into downtown. Um, so I, I might actually be able to do it in 15 minutes. Um, so I, I might be able to do it in 15 minutes and do this trip in 20 minutes total, $15. So not bad, not bad at all. Um, $45 an hour, pretty good. It's like a dollar 75 a mile, uh, gets me back towards downtown in that area. So we'll, we'll pick her up and see what happens uh, after that. All right, so dropped off Jennifer. What a lovely person. Great conversation I got to have with her. And guess what? She tipped five bucks in the cash app. <clears throat> so I am on Lemon Avenue. I am a hop, skip, and a jump away from, away from Love Field Airport. And Love Field they're saying is going to have some flights between now and then. So I am going to head towards uh, that. Okay, I don't do bus fare. Um, I don't do bus fare. That's minimum. I, you know, I, 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 I have decided that um, unless it's dead or it serves some purpose, um, I'm just, I'm not going to be doing uh, bus fares. So I'm very close to Love Field, and so Love. Let me tell you a little bit about Dallas. We have two major major airports here. One is Love Field, which is where I'm heading. Uh, that has me going back and then going uh, towards Love Field. I don't want to do that. Um, <clears throat> Love Field is definitely the smaller airport, 
you know, about 15 flights every hour. Um, but it's closer to downtown Dallas and thus closer to where I spend my time. The bigger airport is over here, DFW, which is the second largest airport in the world. So tends to be very busy, but tends to be very crowded too. All right, so I'm getting a lot of, um, I'm getting, oh, I'm gonna have to squeeze through here past this Bronco. I'm getting a lot of requests nearby. That's a good sign. Because hopefully, <clears throat> right now, oh, definitely not. Right now, let's see, let's check it. Still six to 10 cars, okay. So there's a lot of traffic. I'm getting a lot of requests nearby. So what I'm hoping is, is that there's nearby drivers that, you know, I hope they're happy with what they're getting. Uh, I'm certainly not. Uh, they can do those rides. Uh, going to, okay, reservation going to DFW, the airport I just talked about, for $17 not even a dollar per mile and it's a reservation i mean for that level of service you're reserving a ride and you're only going to give us 17 dollars. that's ridiculous so what i'm hoping is is that drivers are happy with what they're getting nearby but they're not going to clog up the airport the airport queue because if they're busy doing rides, small little rinky dink uh, rides around here, then you know they're not they're not taking up uh, space at the airport lot. So hopefully this this goes quicker. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take a shortcut to the airport rather than going Mockingbird. I'm gonna go this way. That takes me closer to my house, but I don't like it. Not paying enough. Not paying enough. This is like a, and by the way, why, <clears throat> this is like an area for car dealers. I've always wondered why, um, I've always wondered why is it that car dealerships always congregate around, um, airports is there a reason for that oh uh, that's a hospital trip uh no i don't want to do that plus it's paying five dollars so th that's 15 minutes of driving for five bucks that's twenty dollars an hour it's no bueno all right see look at this i'm already getting pickup pings from the airport this is a pickup at the airport and i'm already getting pings for it that was horrible seven dollars all right so that's a good sign hopefully they're gonna throw a surge on here in just a second because if i'm getting airport pings and i'm outside the queue that's a good sign here comes another one man that's horrible that's horrible lose my spot in the queue i'm not in the queue <laughs> I'm not in the queue. What the heck? Fix your jankity app. Oh, thank God I didn't. Oh, oh, I'm going to throw up. Horrible. Bad. 40 miles of driving for $24. What do we say? Nope. Oh, yeah, there's a lot. Why is there no surge? Why? Why is there no surge? Okay, I, I okay. Here's what I think's happening, because because the number of the number of cars has not changed. The number of cars has not changed. I think what's happening is, I think what's happening is those rides, these rides right here that they're trying to give me, no, to go up to Addison for that, no. I'm now I'm not in the queue. I, I mean, how ridiculous is that? Okay, that's not bad. That is not bad at all. Um, I'm going to take it. You know what? Screw the airport. Okay, I'll take it. Okay, I just needed to make a Yui right here and be on my way. Okay, so. Um, you didn't see that. <laughs> you didn't see that right there. 
I pulled a Yui, but we're good. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna take this ride. It's not a bad ride at all. Um, yeah, I was close to the airport, but you saw the trash they were sending. Trash, trash, trash. This is a better ride, I think, because actually I'm gonna be, um, pay $13 to go about 20 minutes. So we're looking at about $40, $38, $39, something like that, uh, an hour. All right, let me clean that up. All right, one, two, three. Okay, so actually I think this is a better ride because uh, I was close to the airport, yes, but you saw the trash they were sending out, so no thank you. Uh, this ride makes sense. It's four miles total for $13. That's $40 an hour. Um, you know, so this guy should be ready here pretty soon. I'm going to take this ride. It puts me in a relatively good area, uh, for, for setting me up for my next ride. And let's see what happens after that. So a bit of an audible, not what I was expecting, but Hey, this might work out. All right. So just dropped off that fine gentleman. We'll see if he tips, but even if he doesn't, it looks as if I just got a new reservation. Yep, just came in right here on my business phone. So I got a reservation. So that guy, see this is why it's sometimes good to do Uber rides in between private rides because they you can use them to get further clients. This guy was interested in uh, going to um, this guy was interested in going to, uh, uh, the airport in the morning and needed a reservation. And I, and I said, Hey, I'm here if you need me. So he, he said, sure, why not? So we got him booked up for tomorrow morning. Uh, do I want to go home? I'm going to decline it. That takes me back towards my house, but I'm not sure if I want to do that right now. All right. So that, that won't count for today's earnings, but I just got that set up. So awesome. All right. We're going to move out. So yeah, <clears throat> have business cards with you. So yeah, you know, have business cards with you. Have, um, have the ability to do that. No, I don't, I'm not feeling that. You know, I'm kind of debating. Should I go home or should I, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. This guy's right here. This, t this takes me towards my house. I was debating it. Now I know. All right. So I'm going to pick up Carlos, take him to where he needs to go, which is over by my house. And then we will be on our way. As you can tell, I am not at my house. I'm in front of Office Max. That's because the guy I picked up uh, when we last left off, <clears throat> he was going to unlock a car for a family member, and we were halfway there, and uh, the family member called and said, hey, uh, we, we don't need you anymore. We found the keys. So I turned right back around and drove him home. That took a total of maybe five, six minutes, so not a problem. This guy was just down the street going to a uh, office max, needing to mail something, going to UPS, stuff like that. He's from Argentina visiting, and dude, could it be two rides this morning? He needs a ride to the airport at around noon, so he said he's going to uh, check in, check with me, and you know, he sounds pretty busy, so... Hopefully when he gets done with this, he's going to book my rides and go to the airport today. So, wow, productive morning. Not bad. Not bad at all. So I'm kind of right back where we started. I'm in this area of Dallas and I'm waiting on a ride. Man, you know, that guy was so cool too. That, that guy, he was from Argentina. We got to talking about traveling to Argentina. And, you know, honestly, and he brought it up. We started talking about politics and about how, you know, basically socialists have just ruined his country um, and turned it into a economic basket case. 
and you know it was a really good conversation and irregardless of politics that's that's not really the point of this you 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 get people like him that are interesting conversations from around the world different perspectives this is why i love rideshare you know obviously there are people that do rideshare that are not extrovert and that's cool uh, you don't have to be like me. You don't have to be a savant at conversation and different, uh, you know, different topics and all this sort of things. But it really helps. I think my tips and my customer service record and my ratings reflect that. But even if I di- even if I wasn't monetarily rewarded, the 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 benefits that you get as a person being able to meet people, being able to go places, being able to, to just really have connections with people. I have a Rolodex now uh, full of names and numbers of people all over the world that if I chose to travel there, you know, they're like, hey, you reach out to me and me and my family will show you a good time. People from Macedonia, Finland, Thailand, uh, Taiwan, Argentina, all over the map. I have connections now. And, and, you know, just great conversation. $17 to go to DFW. No, I'm not doing that. Um, and it's just, I love it. I, th- this is why as much as I bitch and moan about Uber and Lyft and how they treat us, you know, there's ways to do this business and still make money. But I still turn on these apps and I still... Uh, you know, participate in this uh, business for moments like that. I mean, just an awesome guy, great conversation, just really enriches my life to be a part of his story. You know, I'm providing him a short service. Now, he might book me for a private ride here coming up. I hope so. But, you know, just enjoyed it, you know. Um, What a great time. You know, what, what a way to spend your Friday morning, uh, making good money, getting clients, but also just enriching yourself, you know, having the ability to, uh, to meet people and, and to experience new things. That's what life's all about. You know, I just, I just hope that, uh, if you're doing this, that you're taking those opportunities as well. You never know who is coming into your car. Uh, and I, I, I won't mention them by name, but I have a private client that they're, they are not famous, but their, their ex-husband, uh, or former husband, they, they passed away is a very famous person and you would know who they are. Uh, I'm for their own privacy and everything. I'm not going to mention who it is, but you know, they didn't advertise who they were when they got in my car as a private client. But in conversation with them, it came out and it was just such an interesting, you know, it's like all these cool stories that you're able to have as a rideshare, as a, as a, as a private car driving people around the cool stories that you can have that enrich your life, that enrich your spiritual, your mental, your intellectual life are just immense and I, and that's what I love about this business I absolutely I love the variety I love the you know every day is a new day uh, new adventures come up you meet new people it's just so enriching and if you're not taking advantage of those opportunities I, I would you know I would encourage you to to have a little bit of a of an expectation shift in your mindset so that you're open to those uh, opportunities that come your way. All right, a little bit of a... All right, a little bit of a detour. Um, I was heading to my lunch appointment, but I'm going to do this ride real quick. I'm just going to pick this person up. It was a cold call, uh, needing a ride down the road. So I'm going to do this real quick. Uh, it's going to be about 11 miles, about 20 minutes, and um, according to the map, 
and so he's he's willing to pay me 50 bucks you know I, I tend to have higher prices for people that just call me out of the blue uh, unscheduled pickups um, obviously my rates are a little bit cheaper if people pre-schedule ahead of time because uh, that does me a favor by them being uh, more prepared but if I get a call uh, out of the blue I tend to charge a little bit more the 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 call is gonna be you know I have this lunch appointment uh, the person I'm meeting is willing to uh, wait a little bit um, or reschedule so it, it's it's flexible it's flexible but um, and he and they understand they understand that you know this is my business and sometimes things come up so uh, want to have a positive week and this is what you got to do sometimes you know this is the life of driving and having a private business is you never know when your customers are gonna call luckily this guy is like literally five minutes down the road I mean I, I was about as well positioned to pick him up as as humanly possible so the the question is gonna be once I drop him off 11 miles down the road you know what should I do should I should I stay um, on uh, you know should I go to uber should I see what what happens or should I come back here and have lunch we shall see so we'll 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 have an assessment uh, once that is um, once this ride is completed so I'm gonna go pick this uh, fella up do this ride and then I'll check back in with you uh, when we hit the road again all right, so I'm done with my lunch and it's time to get the crazy offers. Yeah, that's a joke. I'm not doing an Uber X share that's over 20 miles. You know I'm going to be getting rides. You know what? I may I may do an Uber X share one day just for just for fun. Just to just to see what it's like. No, that's I'm going the wrong way. So I mean, there's lots of surge going on, but I'm not really sure why. There's tons of surge. I mean, look at Arlington right now. Look at that. That's nuts. I mean, the Cowboys game is on Sunday. Uh, uh, again, I'm going the wrong direction. Man, it's busy. It is busy. There's no doubt about it. Uh, I, you know, that that's good dollars per mile, but the time, the time. And also, I'm in the wrong lane. I'm getting onto the highway here. Uh, no, that's coming back. Man, I really like these, uh, these new Honda Accords. This new one right in front of me. I really like those cars. I, I know the look isn't great. I kind of like the other ones more, the, the older models. But, man, the gas mileage on those, they're so spacious. That, you know, if, you, if you're looking for a perfect... Uh, rideshare car, a, a Honda Accord Hybrid. Um, I mean, you 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 can't do much better than that. Okay, like I'm I'm right on top of this five dollar surge. Where is my surge money? Uh, pick up, drop off, twenty minutes. I don't like it. I, I don't like it, actually. And, okay, I might do this one. Yeah, I'll do that one. Okay. Let's see. So he's at Steppington. I might do this one. 
it's like nine bucks. Right. Okay, I think I know why there is so much surge. Because it looks as if there's some wrecks on 75, which is what I'm on right now. Further down, close to SMU. So that's good to know. So now I know this, now I know that, hey, if I get a ride going south on 75, I'm probably gonna need to take side streets. So that's good to know, good to know. That's gonna add a lot of time. You know, a lot of these rides, even with Surge, if you can't quickly and effectively get up and down 75, then you're, you're the time. I mean, like if they're paying you $9 to go five miles, that sounds good. But if it takes you 30 minutes to do the ride, that's not good. All right, dropped off that lovely lady. She's going to work. And now we are at Preston and Royal. And we are hanging out here, seeing what we can get. Of course, there's no surge where I am. Uh, you know, going to the airport right now is not a bad idea. There's n almost no drivers there right now. But I'm not going to go to the airport for that price. I'm not going to go all the way out there for that price. Just nuts. Uh, again, same thing. Um, over 20 miles, uh, sorry, 20 minutes. Barely even a dollar per mile. Um, both airports are are needing drivers, but to go there, I'm not going to take that. You know, I'm not guaranteed a ride or even a good ride. You know, I'm not guaranteed a, a good ride coming out of the airport. So why why sacrifice uh, my my dollars per mile and my uh, my time for some crappy ride? All right, so just dropped off that lovely lady, and now we are right back where we started this uh, afternoon shift. And of course, as soon as I get up here, that $8 surge has disappeared. Looks like DFW Airport. Again, the airports are uh, busy. There's no surge at Love Field, but, you know, it's, it's pretty busy. DFW is there. See, I just... 30 minutes for $10? Uh, no. No. I, and, and that's with a $1.25 bonus. A $1.25 surge attached to it. Yeah, it is, uh, it is a busy day today. For sure. I mean, I'm getting constant ride requests. No. I mean, the, the, none of these rides are paying for time. Look at that. Uh, that's three quarters of an hour to downtown. I mean, 75 is just totally messed up. What's uh, what's going on tonight? We have some sort of look at all these look at all these reservations. I don't know where the drivers are. I mean, look at that, 45 minutes to go just uh, 17 miles. Yeah, the traffic's horrible right now. They're not they're not they're not paying you for time. I mean, look, look at all these reservations that we got. Uh, that's a bus fare. Uh, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. It's also going to that hospital. I'm not so sure about that. Forney, I ain't going out to Forney right now. You know what? I'm just going to turn this off for a second because I want to take a look at our opportunities. So let's see. Uh, bad, bad, and worse. All right. So what events are going on? Uh, okay. Drake is at the AAC, and Pearl Jam is out in Fort Worth. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Tonight's tonight's not going to be bad at all. 
Shouldn't be. Alright, let's turn them back on. Let's see what lifts up to. Yeah, that's that trip out to Forney. Don't want to do that. Uh, lift. Yeah, lift has got some surge too. Wow. Wow, look at that. Uh, 20 minutes for $7. Nope, they can do better. Look at that, $25. But as soon as I get out there, it's... Uh, no. You know, if I get a ride... If I get a ride to the airport, I might take it. Not too bad. No. Plus, I, I don't want to end up in that area. Uh, that's close to the airport. No. Multi-stop. No. See, now there's a surge at Love Field. Zero cars. No. Okay, so I just dropped off that lovely lady from the mall back home. Man, look at this banger. It's like 12 bucks. $12 with a $2 surge, $3 boost, and it, it was literally going like two miles down the road. And I was at the mall when I picked her up. So, I mean, this trip literally took 15 minutes at most. I mean, it was nuts. Just absolutely a banger trip. She told me some crazy stories. Of course, I gave her my business card because, you know, like a, 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 a person that that's, that is that wounded by Uber, man, she had some horrible stories. Uh, $24 to go to Grapevine, almost an hour. Uh, no, not feeling it. She had some crazy stories. Uh, like, she told me a story that, um, like, Uber drivers uh, texting and watching videos on their phone while they drive. Uh, you know, which you really shouldn't do that, guys. Um, I mean, even if you're good at it and you think it's safe, it's, you know, it's really concerning. You know, it's really concerning. Uh, to, to passengers when you do that. Like they want they want to they want to feel confident that you're paying attention on the road. So if, if you need to text somebody, just just wait till you're at a red light or something or or just you know it can wait. Um, don't do that. And then another one, this is the craziest one. She she said she goes to the airport quite a bit, and this guy came to pick her up on the Uber app, she gets in the car, and he says to her, you're going to pay me $45 cash. And this woman's like, what, what's going, like, she doesn't know what's going on, and, and this guy just uh, was, like, started yelling at her, um, all this sort of stuff. Guys, don't do that. You, you, you don't accept an Uber trip and go and get them in your car and then tell them you're gonna pay me cash. I mean, that's kidnapping at that point. I, I mean, guys, come on, like, use your brain, use your common sense. Like, if this was your sister or your mother, would you want your Uber driver to do these things? Like, that's a good rule of thumb. Like, should I do these things in the car with passengers? If you wouldn't want someone else, a complete stranger, to do that with your sister or your mother in the car, then don't do it to someone else. It, it's not appropriate. I know that these apps are killing you and the prices are insane, but you, you don't do that. Um, you, don't, you don't 
take an Uber client and then show up to the client and then tell them, hey, you're gonna cancel this and pay me cash or you know, who knows what? She doesn't know what's going on. And it's scary, it's inappropriate. I mean, that that is just an awful story. And of course, you know, now she has a general suspicion of all Uber drivers. She has a general frustration with all Uber drivers. You know, she and I were talking, so I think we were cool. But, man, she was on pins and needles until she saw that I was not insane. And she kind of opened up and was telling me some of these crazy stories <clears throat> that she's had with Uber. Gave her my business card. So, who knows? Maybe it's a private client that I just, that I just gained. But, guys, like, crap like that ruins it for everyone else. Because now their impression of Uber drivers is one of apprehension one of frustration, one of distrust. Do you think she's going to be in the habit of tipping drivers now? Probably not. Now, should she? Yes. But we don't need to make it harder on people. Don't let these apps drive you crazy. Don't let them drive you crazy. There are ways to make money out here. All right, I'm showing you how to do it. Don't do that to people. Don't do that to unsuspecting, vulnerable people. I mean, that, that is just, that's wrong. Yes, Uber is in the wrong for charging her so much and you giving you so little, but don't take it out on them. It's not their fault. It's not their fault. Get business cards, get a website, start your LLC, get, get a taxi license, whatever it is you need to do, so that you can take good people like her and you can take a cash ride, you know? Build up that clientele. Don't, don't do that. Don't do this hostage taking crap. That's just creepy. It's wrong. You will get deactivated. You know, just don't do stuff that you wouldn't want people to do with your sister or your mother. Simple as that. Okay, so we are entering the evening part of today's journey and it is it has just been popping off the surges have been there all day all day today on uber i mean it has just been surging now the offers have not been great you still have to cherry pick like crazy i know but i'm on my way to pick up this person beginning of the evening shift at six o'clock, I have a private client and you're gonna be surprised who it is. Okay, so you're not gonna believe this. The guy this morning that I started off this video with, uh, the private client who was in for work, I showed up at his hotel, he texted me, he said, oh my gosh, I totally forgot. I stayed up all night at work and didn't even go back to the hotel. So I thought my dealings with him were done. Sayonara, nice to meet you, pleasure doing business with you. Well, he called me uh, about an hour ago and said, hey, I'm going to need that ride to the airport. So, guess what? I am, I'm doing anything short, anything short. So, we're going to do this one because he is at North Park Mall and North Park Mall is literally just across the highway there. So I just need to do a bunch of short rides for the next 45 minutes. And it's surging, there's boost pay right now, so it really pays to do short rides, uh, especially right now. So I'm just gonna do short rides. Short rides, stay in the area, and then pop off that private ride. He's gonna pay me uh, 75 bucks to go to the airport, you know? It's his business card. He don't care. Uh, he trusts me. It's going to be a relatively simple uh, ride, as as far as I know. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Just need to stay in the area for the next 45 minutes. All right, dropped her off. She's going to work. We are in the middle of, I don't know what to call this place. It's directly across the highway 
from the North Park Mall. It's this really cool residential slash uh, retail area here at Park Lane and uh, 75. Cannot think of the name of it, but it's a really cool area. And again, we're just going to chill and wait until we get a short ride. All right, so I picked up a ride for Robert. It's just a couple miles down the road. Just need to get over like five lanes of traffic. Easy peasy. Pick him up. He's going a couple miles back down the road. He's gonna be right by the mall. He might even be going to the mall, I'm not sure. Either that or close to it. It's got a perfect five-star rating. I've got a feeling this guy is gonna be cool and give me a tip. I just got a feeling. It's a hunch. Let's see if I'm right. All right, so drop that guy off. I'm on my way to North Park Mall to pick up this guy. I've noticed something today. I have been getting inundated with reservation requests. Uh, none of them really work with my schedule. I mean, look at this one. Pearl Street to Victory Ave at 7.30. Uh, yeah, I would love to do that, but I don't know if I can be in Dallas at 7. So, oh, you know what? That's going to be the concert. Yeah, that's not going to be worth it. That's That sounds nice. That sounds really nice. But you're heading straight into the teeth of the concert. They're gonna be want, they're gonna want to be dropped off right at the door. Mm -mm. No, I'm gonna steer clear of that. So there's a concert at the American Airlines Center downtown. There's also a concert, I believe, in Fort Worth. So what do I do? I'm gonna be I'm going to be at the airport here in just a little bit. By the way, let's check the airport. So, Love Field is surging. Uh, short ray. Okay, let's see. What are the flights? Uh, okay, we got a ton of flights. All right, looks like I'm going to be at the airport uh, getting rides. I think what I want to do tonight is after this ride... I think I'm going to want to stay around the airport, maybe up in Grapevine right there. Just kind of chill out there and just sort of do short rides, maybe catch some surges going on. Uh, and then eventually around 9 or 10 o'clock, make my way back towards Dallas. I think... I think that might be my strategy. I think that might be my strategy. We'll see. We'll see. You know, hey, nights like this, it, it's kind of, today has been a, a very strange day because it's all, it feels almost normal. When I say normal, this is what Uber was like, you know, minus the decrease in fares and offers. Uh, you know, it, it was about three, four, six months ago. This is kind of what it felt like on a Friday. So this is kind of my first Friday where, I mean, it has been surging all freaking day. I mean, this is the lowest the surges have been, uh, for quite some time, uh, looking at the map right now. That's good news. All right. So let's go pick this guy up. I'm about to pick him up. I'm like, 300 yards from the mall. Gonna pick him up, take him to the airport, and let's see what happens. All right, dropped off my private client. We are at the airport. And we are heading to the waiting lot. There is a 150 surge, but that's a joke because there is one to five cars here and there's a lot of flights. So the airport's busy. I don't know why they're not just going ahead and sending me a ride request. 
It's kind of stupid. They're going to make me loop all the way around and go back into this parking lot. So stupid. All right, let's get into the waiting lot and see what we get. Oh boy, look at this. $14 on Lyft. Daddy likes. Daddy likes. $14. Nope. I am not driving blind. Head into the lot. Uh, with a $14 bonus? What? Uh, I do not, okay. I do not want to head there. Let me tell you why. No thanks. All right, I'm not doing this crap. Okay, Fort Worth, I don't want to head there either. Both instances are going to downtown Fort Worth and downtown, uh, you know what, you know what, I, I'm, I'm going to wait, I, I, that was a good ride, that was a good ride, I'm going to wait and see if I can get a short one. I'm going to wait and see if I can get a short one. Oh, perfect. Ooh, bad rating. Oh, what should I do? I'll take it. I'll do it. Okay. All right, so I took it. I went ahead and went with it. $25. Holy cow. Holy cow. Okay. Um, no. All right, let's, try, let's give Lyft one more shot. Let's give Lyft one more shot. Let's double check our Uber. Brandon, $51. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give up on Lyft. So, I'm heading to pick up this dude and I'm going to pick him up and then we're heading straight back to the airport. Oh man. Wowzers. Okay. So let me talk through a little bit about my thinking process there. In terms of dollars per minute, I think this one is the best. And I also think it's going to get me and also dollars per mile. I can also head back to the airport relatively quickly. So that's going to allow me to come back here and double dip. So not too shabby at all. I might, maybe I should have taken that, that one to, um, you know, I, I possibly I should have taken that lift one but I'm gonna go with this one I just I have a good feeling about it so let's go drop this dude off and then let's head back to the airport did I log out of Lyft yes I did okay so I'm logged out so we're gonna drop this dude off in Colleyville and then head straight back to the airport because Colleyville is probably dead but we're gonna head straight back here we should be there in like 20 minutes so not too shabby, and then we're able to do the rest of these rides. Okay, looky here. We're in Colleyville in the middle of nowhere, and we've got a surge popping up. So let's check back at the airport. Okay, okay, the airport's not too shabby. I'm shocked that there's not a surge at the airport. Okay, so we've got a surge going on in Colleyville. Should I just head straight back to the airport? I think I should. Even though there's not a surge, you know it's busy. So why not, why not head there? Let's see what Lyft's up to. I feel kind of bad for Lyft. <laughs> you know, they tried, they tried so hard to get me to take a trip and I didn't do it. All right, so we're gonna have to cancel this guy. All right, 
uh, Mustang. Nah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's 26 minutes for 12 bucks. No, thank you. No, thank you. All right, so I can be at the airport in 20 minutes. Not bad. Not bad. By the way, that guy was super nice. Um, he said that the they were charging him $78. 78 and I got 33. It's nuts. Ooh. Not right now. That's not the, you know, that's not a good trip. It's not a good trip. But that's not where I want to go right now. I don't I don't want to go to downtown Dallas at the moment. That is where I want to be later. I mean, they're saying there's a ton of surge over there. But I want to be there later tonight. Later tonight. I think I think there's still life in this airport. I think there's still life in this airport. And yeah, I think that's what I want to do. Man, I really need to stop and get something to eat. Um, uh, oh, it disappeared. I was, I was thinking too hard about that one. I was thinking too hard. Oh, is this better? That might be better. Um, I don't know about that rating though. 4.79. I don't know about that. I'm beginning to wonder, was this a good idea to take this trip? I don't know. I, I got a feeling he's not going to tip. I don't know why. I mean, his company's paying for it. And, you know, why does he care? But I just, you know, sometimes those, those people don't tip. You know, they just don't. Even after we talked, you know, because he, he was remarking about, man, it's so high, at, you know, at the airport. And I was like, well, guess what? They're only giving me 33. Yeah, he was floored. He was floored. I mean, gosh. Guys, they took $45 out of that trip. $45 out. It's nuts. It's insane. Oh, there's those golden arches. The golden arches. Um, all right, so I'm gonna get a number seven with a Dr. Pepper. That's it. All right, so in honor of Mario Mateo, I got the double cheeseburger meal. The dinner of champions. All right, this is probably disgusting because I'm about to eat and you don't want to watch me eat. Ooh, that bad, that is bad. We're gonna decline that. We're gonna decline that all day long. All right, I'm gonna turn this off because it's disgusting to watch me eat. Okay, so I got a ride. This is kind of weird. I have no idea where this person is. We're gonna find out together because the pen is somewhere in the airport, but not at the terminals. But he's going to the terminal. I mean, I'm willing to do it. It's taking me to the airport. It's gonna pay me 15 bucks. It's like six miles of driving, so why not? Why not do it? And of course, as I'm eating my double cheeseburger meal, I get ketchup on me. Yay! That's awesome. On my awesome shirt. <clears throat> Spilled ketchup all over my front. So, luckily I didn't get it on the car. I can just wash my shirt later. But, party foul. 
All right, sorry about that. Um, got sidetracked because the writer called me and so my screen recording stopped. All right, so it sounds as if he wants to make a stop somewhere, but I couldn't quite tell where he was going. Um, I just told him, hey, I'm having a hard time hearing you. Let me come pick you up first. So we're gonna do a stop. Let's see how bad the damage is and then assess from there. Maybe I just say, hey, let's, you know, don't fool around with the app. Let's just do cash or something, you know. He might be fine with that. Sounds like a British guy. So, cool. I'm going to go pick this guy up. So far, so good. I'm in a part of the airport I don't think I've ever been to before. So, this is interesting. Pick this guy up. Take him wherever he wants to go. And then we're off to the airport. All right, so I totally forgot where I last left off. I think it was dropping that guy off in Colleyville. So I dropped him off. Oh, I went to McDonald's, that's right. I had McDonald's, I spilled ketchup on my shirt, and I got a ride from this guy, and he needed to make a stop. He had a cat with him. So he needed to buy like a, a, a carrier for the cat uh, before he went to the airport. He's from Australia. He was bringing his cat over from Australia. So um, he gave me a $50 cash tip. Uh, just handed me 50 bucks. <clears throat> Cause I took him, I took him like three miles to go to PetSmart. I waited about 10 minutes. And then we went to the airport. And then, after the airport, I got another ride uh, going uh, down the highway about mm, 12 miles or so, paying $23. They haven't tipped yet. I have a good feeling, though. I think they're going to tip. So, not, the, not great um, dollars per mile. Um, but the airport right now, like... It's a little bit dead at the moment. I don't think it's going to stay that way. I don't think it's going to stay that way. But at the moment, the airport is, you know, is, is hopping right now. So, it, you know, there, there's going to be some more flights coming in. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not too worried about that number there. But, yeah, we're going to get another ride. This one needs to go to Dallas. I, I think this one needs to go to Dallas. I could probably do some more airport rides, but I, I think I would rather do, yeah, see, there we go. No surge, uh, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll head there. Let's turn on uh, Lyft and see what we got going on with Lyft. Oh, that's out of the airport. No, oh, I don't want to do that. Oh my gosh, look at this line. Look at this line. Are these all Uber drivers? Holy cow. Uh-oh. I may have made a mistake. So apparently that bat signal went out to every Uber driver in the Metroplex. Oh, crap. What should I do? Should I leave the airport? Because I have a feeling I'm going to be here a while. My worry is, is that I'm going to be here a while. And end up having to decline a bunch of crap. And yeah, Lyft, Lyft keeps sending me stuff outside the queue. Right now is kind of the calm before the storm. I think, I think there's going to be opportunity here if I'm patient. It's actually not bad. Um, uh, I don't know if I want to deal with Arlington. 
I don't know if I want to deal with Arlington traffic tonight. Yeah, I'm going to stick with my plan. I'm going to stick with my plan. That That's worked out for me recently is like if I have a plan or if I have a strategy, of course, I, I reserve the right to call an audible. And I do a lot. But the plan was do these airport trips, send me down to Dallas at around this time. So, I say let's stick with that strategy and see what we get offered. You know, this would be a good time to stretch the legs, move around a little bit, go to the bathroom, and think. Because I probably, I got probably one more ride out of the airport. And then I can head to Dallas. Okay, I'm gonna stay in queue. I'm not falling for that crap. Man, oh man, there is a lot of people here. It's 41 cars. There is a lot more than 41 cars here. Are they just sitting here waiting? Is this what drivers do at the airport? There's gotta be people off the apps because it says 41 drivers ahead of me. There is way more than that here. Way more. So is this, is this the str Okay, I just took a person there for $23. So the, the ride that I did before, it's like exactly the same spot. I just did that ride for 23 bucks. I have a feeling we're gonna go to the back of the queue. All right, so we're leaving the airport lot and, you know, a little bit of a wasted time. This, you know, I, this was probably not a good idea. I probably should have gone to uh, downtown, just, just skip the airport. But in a way, I'm kind of glad I didn't. I took a break, a much needed break. And I got to talking to a couple of drivers, uh, uh, they, they drive black SUVs and man, there's just really cool drivers out there, man. Like this young lady, uh, who's been driving Uber black for like a year and, um, trying to get over here. Thank you, sir. And, um, she's a veteran, uh, wants to be her own business person. Like, and I hope some of the things I told her uh, are helpful. You know, she served our country, still is serving our country. She's in the reserves. But, you know, she's just out there trying to make it and dealing with some issues uh, with her vehicle. Someone hit her, um, kind of damaged the vehicle a little bit. She's working through that. She's kind of similar to me. She wants to, you know, get more cars, get more drivers, um, be able to have a fleet of her own. She's just, a, she's an aspiring small business woman. Uh, and like I said, served our country and a couple of other drivers came over and we started chatting. You know, it, that's just good. Did it make financial sense for me to, to sit in that lot for 30 minutes, decline a bunch of trash and finally get this ride? So it, uh, I'll, I'll talk more about this ride here in a second, but this, is it financially better off? Not really. But that was much needed for me to just decompress, sit there and chat to some people and have some camaraderie. You know, I encourage you guys, if you're in the airport lot, get out and talk to people. You know, if you're from a certain background, like if you're American or if you're Ethiopian or if you're Nigerian or something, like don't just talk to people that are the same as you. You know, go around, talk to people, get it. Get, get a wide, diverse, uh, you know, uh, array of people around you. You know, it's, it's, it's really good. It's really good. Man, it's been, uh, it's been a good day today. All right, so I'm going to pick this guy up. I'm taking him to Dallas, but I, I declined a lot of trips that were taking me to Dallas, but they were heading towards that concert zone. 
I don't want to be on top of the concert. I want to be near the concert. So I think this is going to be a good, uh, I think this is going to be a good uh, middle ground and then we'll see what happens once I get there. All right, so I'm getting a bunch of radars right now. I think that there are, I think we're just about to pop off. Yeah, that's that CVS pharmacy. Smart people. That's the CVS pharmacy over by the American Airlines Center. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to head down this way. Matter of fact, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the apps turn them off for a second because I it, this is the I, you can you can feel the rumblings before it gets super busy like, what is this person doing so where should I camp out it's like I'm debating I'm debating on whether or not to keep going a little bit longer or should I, should I wait? Should I wait? All right, sitting here, watching my Mario Mateo video. So I'm looking at the Uber map. It still has not started yet. I think it will be soon, but did I make a mistake? Look at this map. Look at Arlington. And you know what? I just realized I've been avoiding Arlington. Remember that ride I got like at the airport and it was heading to Arlington? It was about three or four trips ago. I think I caught it on camera. But if I didn't, it was a, it was a ride from I think the rental lot at the airport down near here in Arlington. And I didn't take it because I said, I don't want to deal with that traffic. In my mind, I was thinking there's an event in Arlington tonight. Now, according to Uber, there's no events going on. So I don't know what, I, I don't know, like Arlington has been like this pretty much all day. There, there has been a constant surge in Arlington for all day. All of these opportunities, like I've gotten dozens of reservation requests. See, th this, one, this one here is not uh, Arlington. I'm not gonna deal with that, that's, that's concert related. But <clears throat> all of these rides going to Arlington. So there's got to be something going on, but Uber's not catching it. So did I make a mistake by not going to Arlington tonight? I don't know. Look up here in Grapevine. Look at Grapevine. Grapevine is just banging right now. So note to self, on a day like this, in the future, Grape, and you know, Grapevine is a great area. Great area. Good roads, no traffic. If it's surging, <coughs> if it's busy and surging, oh man, that's a great area to drive. There was one day, I think I mentioned this in another video, but this is like months ago. I went up there on just a, like a, a normal Wednesday and I made like 300 bucks in five hours. It was nuts. And I, all I was doing was just going from one hotel to the other, one hotel to the other, the whole night. Uh, some big conference going on at the resort up there. Man, it was awesome. So note to self. Grapevine might be a good spot. 
All right, we are waiting. We are waiting. All right, I think it's official. It's 11 o'clock and I made a mistake. My first real big mistake of the night. Grapevine has been surging all night. Arlington, look at Arlington. Arlington is nuts right now. Fort Worth is popping off. Heck, even down here in Mansfield it's popping off. Everywhere! Frisco, Garland, Mesquite, except right where I am. Oh man, I could have been home like 45 minutes ago. Taking a shower by now, rested. I got my early morning reservation. But instead, I hung out and Uh, well, you make a mistake sometimes. You just got to learn from it. It happens sometimes. I'm not going to sit here and wait, 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 wait. I'm going to head on down the road. I'm going to get these wheels moving and heading in the right direction. You know, I think there's something to be said for having a strategy. And having a, a method, a, a modus operandi, there's a fancy term for you, a way of doing things that work for you. Look at that. As soon as I turn, it's like they're sensing I'm giving up. All right, so is the surge about to occur? All right, I'll play your game. Let's pull into this corner store. For me, for so long, especially during the slow summer months, for me, that was Dallas, you know, my neck of the woods. It was like the only thing going on. And I think I'm still in that mindset. And I came here too early. I gave up on the area that I was in too early. I'm still in the mindset of it being bad times. I needed to go with the flow of where I was more. If, if I was still over here by the airport, up in Grapevine, heck, if I was in Arlington, I mean... Think of what those drivers in Arlington are making right now. A lot of money. Let this be a lesson in having patience. Because I, I came down here too early. I should have either just gone home or I should have stayed out there and done more. You know, I'm not perfect. I don't always predict the best. It happens. But you live and you learn. Put that in the old memory bank for next time. I'm going to go ahead and sign off. If I come back and this video is any longer, you know why. All right, you thought I was done. I thought I was done. But let me show you something real quick. The night is not over. <laughs> Let's take a look here. Look at this. Look at that map, baby. Okay, so what's our game plan here? We're not taking those, that's for sure. My time has come. My time has come. I'm going to try this out. I normally would never do this, but it is surging like mad. And, you know, if I had been a little bit more patient, 
I would have been better off probably. I could have I could have been right in the thick of it. But I came home, did a little video editing. It's all good. It's all good. So we're on our way, heading into the storm. My goal is right, you see where you see that $12 right there on the screen? See where it says $12? That right there, that is where I'm heading. It is closest to my house. My first actual offer. Uh, we can do better. Let's turn on lift. We need to have lift on. Um, yep, yeah, lift's popping off too. So, oh, heck no. We ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. You know, I wish there was a feature on Uber and Lyft where you could say, hey, I only want to do rides that are this length. They'll never do that, but I wish that was a feature. You know, I feel like it would save them time. Although I say that, they probably would abuse it like crazy, so. Yeah, still, the, these trips are still too long. They're still too long. They're also popping up a ton of radars to see if you'll bite. See, we can do better than that. That's $15 for five miles. But guys, look at this surge. Look at how much customers are paying. We can do better than this. We can do better than this. If you took that, if you take that radar, that seems nice. And, and I'll be honest, it's good money. I'm not, I'm not denying that. But, but you know, there's, there's always grades, right? Like not, not every time is created the same. Uh, not bad, not bad. Not 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 every time period is the same. So we can do better than that. I mean, we're we're literally five minutes away from being in a twelve dollar surge zone. They're they're just screwing with us right now. Because we can do we can do better than this. Oh my. No. They are, they are trying desperately, desperately to get me to take something. Because they know exactly where I'm heading. Harvard, McKinney to Lindell and Live Oak. Um, oh, by the way, right here where it says $16, that's a neighborhood called Deep Ellum. I am gonna avoid that so hard. I think that's the same trip, close to it. I'm still not taking it. That area right there, I am gonna avoid that. Mm. After a Drake concert especially, it's gonna be nuts. It's gonna be a nut house. We're hitting Greenville Avenue, and we are heading due south. Come on, Uber, be a man and give me a request. Stop sending me this radar crap. Have the courage of your radar convictions. See still? Uh, Greenville, Martell, Hester. Pick up. Okay, I'll do it. So, I went ahead and took it. It's like seven fifty for like nothing. So, I'll go ahead and take that. All right, are you ready for the drunk people? I think I'm ready. I hope I am. <laughs> 